Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so this next video comes from one of my favorite subscribers on my channel, and that's Angelina Sanchez. So Angelina wants to see the Bee Gees the way it was. Now, if you're new here, and I have a lot of new Australian subscribers that are following uh, my journey with John Farnham, uh, I'm going to ask you guys if you guys can come and watch this video as well and hit the like button and leave a comment and join into this community here and we can combine both communities i want to see this video get to at least five or six hundred views today uh, by the end of the day and let's see if we can get this to 150 to 200 likes and let's flood that comment uh, section with comments here so my question to my subscribers are will you guys come out put me and this bg song here so let's see how this works out so angelina the way it was, the Bee Gees. Let's see what this is all about here. I don't know how, but nights get lonely now. You keep appearing in my eyes. Such a warm, tender glow. For just one moment. I remember all the love we had was never all that bad. There were smiles and there were tears. On that special starry night, with your arms around, held on tight, wasn't that the way? I don't know why it's hard to say goodbye or even just hide in the end. You meant so very much to me. Then I let you go, start my life again. The love we had was never all that bad. There were smiles and there were tears. Till that special summer day. When I reached out for you, you just walked away. Wasn't that the way? It was two strangers reaching for our last call. Wasn't that the love we shared? Years when no one So there you have it. You have the Bee Gees the way it was. So, you know, look, I, I've been through this with you guys a thousand times. I mean, there's not many things I can say that I haven't already said about the Bee Gees. Um, you know, you, you, you have that, that very recognizable voice by Barry. You have that very distinguished, unique voice by um, Robin. I mean, like I said, and Robin, I became a fan of Robin over time. I didn't think Robin was anything much, but Barry was my guy. Shout out to Barry for Angelina uh, and Morris. You know, I, I really thought these guys were throw-ins, but I, I was I was wrong. I was not educated well. I just knew basically the um, 
the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack for the most plot. That was my BG's uh, knowledge. But th- this was such a a very well sung song. It, it, it puts you in a nice like uh, subdued. Um, it, it relaxed you. It you know this was a beautiful song. If you're just resting and you just want to like enjoy some nice, good, soft music, this was perfect. Um, very well. I mean, obviously, we, we didn't have a video here, so we got to look at the uh, at the, the giant thumbnail throughout the whole entire video. But you can just look at the three of them and just picture them singing while this was going on and playing and, you know, just f- trying to figure out, like, you know, what they would be doing, how they would be acting on the stage. Like I said, I didn't find a live version of this, so I had to go with this. But, no, it was very soothing. That That would be my word for this. It was... It was very soothing to the ears. It it it, it, it brought peace and tranquility. You know, you bet you felt very relaxed and in a good place listening to this. And um, two thumbs up, Angelina. Uh, I hope you like the um, the reaction. And um, like I said, there's not much. They, they they have no weak point. The Bee Gees have no weak point. Now, was every single solitary song that they put out? <laughs> well, let me rephrase this because I know some of you are going to disagree with this. Every song is not a top 10 song from the Bee Gees, but some people have their favorites that weren't very popular and stuff like that. But this was very soothing to me. I would listen to this song over and over again. Now, uh, there's no video to look to, but I, I do know the song. You know, I do know this song. I do appreciate this song. Uh, I like the song. I thought it was very well done. Uh, you know, so here I am. I'm gonna go on a, a, a ramble, um, and I won't ramble too far because I, I don't want to take up too much time. Because the more time I take up rambling, the less time I can put out another video. So I'm putting out another video or two today. I'm probably gonna break for lunch now, or well, very shortly, and um, and that's basically that. So I want to thank you all for for watching this. I. Just want to let my uh, my Bee Gees uh, crowd here know that I didn't forget about the Bee Gees. Uh, we started with the Bee Gees. We're going to stick with the Bee Gees. We're never going to drop the Bee Gees. Um, I'm just looking to bring in some new some new artists and and bring in some new subscribers and and have more more people come together and talk about their music. Um, so you know, as of late, you guys will look at my uh, my selection, and you're going to see it's primarily Australian based because I'm getting a tremendous influx of Australian subscribers and I treat the, the Australian subscribers the same way I treat the BG subscribers I show that I show love to whoever's requesting songs in mass quantities and they were requesting songs like by the fives tens and twenties of the same song so I figured that's the songs that I should be uh, reacting to right now because it's not just one person here one person there it's coming in in mass quantities and uh like i said i i want to thank all my bg supporters uh i'm not going anywhere the bgs aren't going anywhere uh, we're going to start doing when we finish most of the requests and the songs we'll start reliving them with different versions and different live performances and stuff like that and the same thing goes with the with the Australian, the John Farnham and the Cold Chisel and, you know, ACDC and, you know, all of, all of the talent from, from Australia will, will keep doing different versions. We'll, we're going to mix it up. What I'm going to do, um, going forward, and this is very important for my BG people. I'm not going to do BGs all day, every day, but I am going to throw in three or four BG songs per week. Um, I'm going to probably be doing, a little bit less on the reactions per day um, than I've been doing. I have um, I have some stuff that came up with my business that will need my attention, um, but it won't take all of my attention away. I'll still be able to do some reactions daily, but I'm going to most likely, probably I would say starting like maybe Monday of next week, I'll probably be doing like maybe one or two songs a day. Um, and if I do miss a day, you know, I'll, I'll probably, um, I'll probably stick to one or two or three, three will be the max. Three will be the maximum because what happens when I go past three, you know what? Time out. Well, I'm rambling here. Let's just, let's just appreciate the BG song that we just, we just reacted to. And we'll, we'll leave it on a good note with the BGs of, 
always a great performance from the Bee Gees. Um, I, I never listen to a Bee Gees song and say, you know, oh, you know, this wasn't good or that wasn't good. I may have my quirky comments here and there that most of you will not agree with and some of you do agree with. Um, and then we have some fun chats going on. You know, we'll have some fun conversation in the in the comment section. But uh, for the most part, I only react to music that I actually enjoy listening to. So you will never catch me reacting to music in mass and in bunches that I do not like. Uh, I may react to a couple of songs because they were requested by somebody. And if more people request those reactions, I'll keep doing it because, you know, I'll do what you guys ask for. But when it comes to just random music, I if I don't like something, if I don't like the way it sounds or I don't like the way the video was, or I don't like the way they look, or whatever it is, for whatever reason, probably won't do them again. So the Bee Gees will always be done because I like everything they do. John Farnham is going to be done from now to the end of time because I absolutely fell in love with this with this man very late. Um, but uh, you know the expression, better late than never. Um, so we'll continue this conversation going forward over the next week or so, because uh, I, I really don't want to kill this video with two, two hours worth of rambling, and I, I've gone way too far as it is. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to end this video and say thank you to Angelina. You are always one of my favorites, and you always will be one of my favorites. Um, that's just the way it is. <laughs> that's just the way it is. There's, there's, you know, I'm not going to lie, because... All of you know how I do my reactions. My reactions come from the heart. So it's all off the cuff. I, I have nothing rehearsed. You're getting what you see is what you get. And that's for, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm doing the Bee Gees or John Farnham or if I'm doing Kiss. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. To it. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So that's what we have here. So as of right now, we're going to cut this short and say goodbye to this reaction. And thank you to all my subscribers. And I'm going to leave you with this. If you're new here. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave some comments. Let's talk in the in the comment section and let's have fun. So for now, thank you and peace.